Hello everybody, so I thought I could do my weekly check-in with you for July today. A slightly different setup today. Um, I have my sort of camera and tripod opposite me in the hope I can turn it around because with my left-handedness I'm finding it really difficult to stay in frame. So we're going to see if this is any easier for me. I apologise if you hear either my dog snoring or my rabbit just jumping about. That is life here. Um, yeah, so I thought I would show you, as mentioned before, I don't show everything. Um, I've decided I'm not going to show my income and some business stuff, whereas I'm going to show you some, but also not others, just like where I get my supplies from and stuff. So, as I mentioned in the last video, these are the trackers I use for my sinking funds and the sort of, what's it called, expense trackers. I do have some of these in my shop, but only for the width of full boxes rather than the monthly boxes so if this is something you want then let me know and I can bring these to the shop but these are the colours that I go with so it's been a fairly busy first week of the month I have some expense here and there um a lot of business stuff has been happening so I've got the pink planner sale and I've been foiling kits like crazy, so I had some bigger expenses, but that's fine. Um, what else? I also have some other bits that I haven't included on here. I have been purchasing some things, like sort of spending, but they've sort of been going from PayPal sort of credit fund. I'm not sure what it's called, but basically where I've de-stashed stuff on Facebook, de -stash. So that's all extra. So where I've used that, I haven't written it down, if that makes sense. Um, and alongside, I've put Aura Estelle, because I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this yet, because I have ordered a planner in the pre-order. But I think I'm going to not write this down, and because I plan to sell one of my B6 planners, because I'm just not using them, if not to. So I put it there in the hope that de one of those will pay for that. And also, I did do an order on a uh, um, new look this week, but that's going back, so I haven't put that in there, and um, just put that there to remind me. So for the first category I'm going to be looking at is weekly check-in. Still see there. Um, so, although it's sort of more five weeks this month, I have just condensed it into four. Um, business stuff, I'm not showing the business budget and also not showing all of that on camera today. But my spending, I had a budget of 115 for this month. Business, I'm not going to show. Travel, I haven't got any because I just don't plan on going anywhere. University and other. And then I also have marked my monthly view when I spent some sinking funds. So I thought I could start with spending. So if you saw in my last video, I budgeted myself £115 for this month. And it probably is going to be more mainly because of the um, stuff I sold on Facebook. I bought a couple of bits in the Pink Planner sale from some UK shops. So um, for me, spending is a pink colour. So I first have £13.97. So I... Um, purchased a budget kit from Sarah Marie Stickers and sent it to my stackery box and then I made a little unexpected purchase. I am stopping Spotify so um, I've got a bit of a thing for the Funko Pops at the minute so I am doing a sub for the minute. I can always stop that if I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth. But it's mainly Harry Potter ones I'm after, and I favourited the ones I would like, and as soon as you put the ones you don't want, you won't receive those ones. So I think that's a good deal to get the ones I want. So that's £12.98. I used to have a lot of subs running later last year because money tends to be a bit more, but um, things like Simply Gilded, but I didn't feel like I was getting the worth out of that, and I had a glam planner. And I probably will start Glam Planner again because I really enjoyed that. And then I had a Royal Mail here and that was sending something to my friend Yvonne. And then I have Glam Planner for 13, nope, 11.65. 
I had some birthday points to use, so I bought the wildflower kit and got the full box and washi add-on. Um, so that I can get two uses out of that. Greg's $2.95, um, because I was working that day. Um, yeah, I don't do that all the time, but sometimes you just fancy Greg's. Um, none there. I purchased some things from Vanilla Paper Co. Really amazing deal for sticker kits. And this is a combination also of a slight fee, because it was a currency conversion and her website doesn't accept PayPal. However, it's still great value for money for her foiled kits. So that was £23.30. And again, I sent that to Stackery. And then that's it for that week. So for spending this month, I have spent so far, let me zoom you in. I have spent £69.59, if I've done that all correct. So I have 115 minus 69.59. And per week, 45.41 divided by 3. 1513 um to be honest i will not stick to that <laughs> being realistic i won't but then again i have my paypal credit from stuff of stashed so maybe who knows um business um like i said i'm probably not going to fill this in on camera um, I'll show you a couple of expenses I've had this month, but I'm not showing everything just because that's something I'd rather keep a little bit, sort of like my suppliers and stuff. Um, so a lot of the time it's artwork on offer, um, ready for kits and stuff, labels, um, that that I had sticker paper, but I'm going to fill that in later, some of my premium, um, Wilco, um, yeah, I didn't really need to buy that, but I bought some storage boxes for things like my forward kits and my doodles and a label maker, which I did definitely not need, but I bought it anyway. Amazon, 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 cutting mats and foil. I'm trying out somewhere else for foil at the minute, so that is on the way. But this is just a quick purchase um, because my foil kits were made ready for the pink planner sale and they had a huge response so i wanted to make sure i had enough supplies in stock travel i had none university i had none and then other it's sort of like unbudgeted but um just anything that sits outside those categories i had to pay for antibiotics um yeah, so that was a bit unexpected. So that's £9.35. And then the only other thing I think I had was a couple of sinking funds I've taken out. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do my sinking funds yet. It's still going to take a while for me to decide what my sort of way of going about it is. But I took... One pound ninety seven out of gifting. This is getting a birthday card and um, tissue paper for Elise's birthday presents and entertainment. I took out a fiver because I had Domino's with my aunt, so I paid for my personal pizza that was on offer. So this is probably not the best layout I've ever had, but we'll see how it works. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to take five out. Oh, wait, I'm not going to finish this until I've done all my sinking funds for the month. But I'm probably going to change the layout there. So that's a very brief video. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not showing you everything, but that's just something I'd like to keep a little bit private, especially concerning suppliers and stuff, because it's hard enough to get stock as it is. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. And, oh, I didn't mention the top banner the monthly kit is from plum planner this month and 
expense as me. So let me know if you want me to bring those to the shop. They're just literally very, very mini expense trifles. So yeah, thank you for watching.